The name of the movie Gotcha comes from a campus game that students play where they use guns that shoot globs of paint and they sneak around the campus saying, Gotcha, you're dead. Well, the hero of the movie gets into a real life game of Gotcha when he goes on vacation to Paris and meets a girl who says she's a spy and she wants him to go with her to East Berlin. Why is that guy taking her pictures? It's not unusual. I mean, we didn't even do anything. Jonathan! Ouch! Look what you did to the car. Show me your passport. Tourist. Welcome to the DDR. They get into a lot of trouble with the East German police, and the kid manages to escape back to America, where he is followed by Russian spies. In here. Where are we going? They're on my turf now. There's a phone down at the bottom of the hill. Go call your friends. I'm at the bottom of the steps near the student union. That's Linda Fiorentino as the girl in the movie, The Spy. She was in a movie a couple of months ago called Vision Quest, and she is really good. In fact, she's the best thing in this movie with her high energy and her mysterious kinds of ways of leading this kid down the garden path. I enjoyed her, but I thought the movie was sort of silly, and I really objected to the fact that toward the end of this complicated plot, that guy has to explain everything in the movie twice, all the way through to people, while we're sitting there, after all, we've seen the movie. We don't need this explanation. So I give Gotcha two stars, and I'm Roger Ebert.